Great. Um, hello. Um, as um, Rosanna said, my name's Lucy Byrne and I'm the Acting Program Manager for the Literature Board at the Australia Council for the Arts. Uh, with me is Willow Drummond, who's a Program Officer for the Literature Board and manages uh, new work grants to writers, and Romany Peterson, who's Acting Program Manager for Visual Arts. Um, I'd like to thank um, Cal for the opportunity to, um, for asking us to participate in the seminar today. Uh, the Australia Council is based in Surrey Hills in Sydney and we're here to tell you about the grants offered by the Literature Board and the Visual Arts Board to authors, publishers and visual artists. Uh, we'll speak for about 20 minutes and then open up to about approximately 10 minutes of questions. Okay, before we start um, talking about the Literature Board and Visual Arts Board in detail, um, I'll just provide you with some information on the Australia Council. The Australia Council is the Federal Government's Arts Funding and Advisory Body. It's a statutory authority established by an Act of Parliament and we are accountable to the Australian Government through the Minister for the Arts, Simon Crean. Uh, our vision is to enrich Australia by supporting and promoting the practice and enjoyment of the arts. Uh, some information on how we do this. Uh, by providing grants to artists and arts organisations, by promoting the arts and building new audiences, by building the capacity of the arts sector and through arts advocacy and policy. Our strategic priorities for the year are artists' careers, audience access and participation, business and philanthropic involvement in the arts, increased support for the arts and arts content for the digital era. Now just a few um, facts and uh, figures. Um, last year the Australia Council spent um, $164.5 million on grants to individuals and organisations. Uh, this in turn created 6,911 new works, uh, 8,723 were presented, 895 individuals were funded to a total of $48 million and 1,121 organisations were supported. Uh, these grants were awarded by the seven art form boards and divisions, and this involved almost 5,000 hours of reading of support material uh, for board members and peers. Uh, the next chart uh, shows you how the Australia Council is organised into four main divisions. Uh, first of all, arts funding, which is us, uh, which looks after grants to artists and arts organisations. Then we also have ATSIA, which is dedicated to the development and support of Indigenous arts. Uh, and then Arts Organisations, which works with key and major multi-year funded arts organisations. Um, arts Development, which is responsible for building new audiences and promoting the arts. And then there's also the Office of the CEO, which includes Art Support Australia, which is an initiative to grow cultural philanthropy. As I said um, earlier, the Arts Funding Division looks after, to, after grants to individuals and organisations. Uh, the Literature Board and the Visual Arts Board are two of these art form boards, along with dance, music, theatre, inter-arts and community partnerships. The Literature Board has an annual budget of $4.7 million per year, and the Visual Arts Board has an annual budget of around $5 million per year. Uh, there are numerous closing dates per year, depending on which category you're interested in applying to, and we'll provide more detail about these um, shortly. I will now hand over to Romani, who will talk uh, more about new work grants to, um, offered by the Visual Arts Board. Okay, thank you, Lucy. Uh, the majority of Visual Arts grants actually go out through the new work category, and we have two sub two subcategories: new work emerging, which is grants for ten thousand dollars, and new work established, which is grants for twenty thousand uh, dollars. This is a self-definition thing; we leave it up to artists to decide whether they're emerging or established. Um, but the rough guide is. Under five years professional experience might be considered emerging and more than five years established. Another thing I tell people is to have a look at past grants lists on our websites because sometimes it's useful to see the artist's names and have a think about which category you'd consider to be your peers. Uh, as the name implies, New Work Grants assist artists and arts writers to create new work. Funding may go towards any costs incurred while making or researching that work. For example, living expenses, uh, studio rent, travel, equipment and material costs. And new work's already closed for the year, it closed in April each year, and uh, we'll be assessing those new work applications in July. They're for projects that start 1st of August or after. Our Visual Arts Board spends almost $2 million uh, a year on new work grants. Almost half of that funding is from our core budget, and then we have an extra million dollars that, comes, that came from the Visual Arts and Crafts Strategy, uh, the, the VAX money and we distribute that through the established round. 
So VACS is a joint initiative of the Australian state and territory governments, and it's about support for individual artists and strengthening arts infrastructure. Uh, this funding was recently renewed, so we're about to go into our fifth year of funding through VACS. So as I said, new work already closed for 2011. We received slightly, slightly more applications, that, that 810, but the success rate's going to be fairly similar, I guess, of about 14%. So both categories are really highly competitive, even with that fax money I mentioned. And the board continually has the issue of, although you know, receiving super high quality applications, never having enough money to fund all the good projects we receive applications for. Um, I'll now hand over to Willow, as uh, Literature Board also offers new work grants. Change over here, thanks Romani. Um, similarly, the Literature Board knows uh, that what most writers need is time. Time to write, time and funds to complete a research trip or to write a final draft. Literature Board New Work Grants assist in the creation of new work by published Australian writers and picture book illustrators by providing a living allowance and travel and research costs for up to 12 months. Um, there are a range of set amounts available to writers and illustrators from between uh, $10,000 a year to up to $50,000. Now, you don't have to have had a long career behind you in order to apply, but you do need to, as I said, have been published. Uh, the category is divided into three tiers from emerging writers who may have had work published in, shorter work published in journals, magazines and newspapers, right through to established writers who were on to their sixth or seventh book. Now, applicants through this tiered structure, applicants compete, therefore, with writers at a similar level of experience. Um, but the key word, as Romani said, uh, is competitive here. Uh, in 2011, we received 470 applications across these three tiers uh, for emerging, developing and established writers. Um, and each year, the success rate for new work ranges between 10 to 13% for the Literature Board. Applications close in May. <coughs> Uh, for new work grants, which is uh, obviously already passed for the year, um, for work to be undertaken in November of the same year. Now, this year, for the first time, the board is excited to be offering a brand new category specifically for digital writing. Uh, new work digital and new media writing grants will assist writers and illustrators to create digital and or new media works with a literary focus. Uh, now, this could mean digital narratives, a digital poetry, audience participation, user-generated content, gameplay, uh, literary blogs, or something brand new and innovative that we haven't even heard of yet. Um, grants of $15,000 will be available via this category, and these funds can be used toward production costs and collaboration fees, as well as the usual living and research costs. Uh, the closing date for this category is the same as the main new work rounds, the 17th of May. The Literature Board supports uh, writers and illustrators work working across a range of genres. Uh, fiction, literary non-fiction, children's and young adult literature, poetry, writing for performance, by which we mean radio and theatre, writing for new media, graphic novels and illustrated picture books. Uh, writers can apply to one of two closing dates throughout the year, depending on the kind of support you're looking for. So either the 30th of March or the 17th of May for the grants we've already spoken about. The 30th of March is specifically for the residencies category. Uh, the Literature Board provides via this category um, living expenses and travel costs for two six-month stays at both the Keesing Studio in Paris or the BR Whiting Studio or Library in Rome each year. Um, and writers can also apply, in fact, to attend a self-organised residency at an alternate venue anywhere in Australia or around the world. The aim of the residencies program is to foster excellence in writing by providing developing and established writers with a supportive environment for professional development, research and creative risk taking. Now, um, the Visual Arts Board also has a range of residencies available, so I might hand back to Romani to talk about that for a minute. The majority of our residencies are offered through the Skills and Arts Development category, um, which is broken down into a general professional development category um, and 10 separate international studio rounds. So like new work, these are incredibly competitive rounds uh, with an approximate success rate of about 13 uh, 13 per cent. So um, we have the technology. Um, we have the Overseas Studio Program and List of Locations is on the board, which I've, I've actually managed this program for about five years, but we've been running it for you know, over 30 years since we've had the Green Street Studio. So the locations are uh, New York, Barcelona, Paris, Rome, Tokyo, 
London, Swimmelina Island near Helsinki, and Liverpool in the UK for the three-month studios. Uh, these have a, we, we give a $10,000 stipend with these to cover airfares and living expenses. We also offer two six-month residencies each year at the International Studio and Curatorial Program, ICP, in New York. And we've just recently taken, taken on the Samstag program as partners to that program. So now the people who receive, receive those residencies have a slightly increased stipend of $25,000, and they are also acknowledged as Samstag scholars. And lastly, we offer one 12-month residency at the Kunstlerhaus Britannien in Berlin, and that's, that attracts a stipend of $35,000. As studio residencies um, are already booked up till two, two years in advance often, and artists have little or no choice as to when they, when they go, uh, we generally suggest that people actually apply for self-organised residencies through Skills and Arts Development General. So unlike the overseas studio program I was just talking about, which is only open to artists, through this category uh, we actually fund artists, arts writers and curators. There's no fixed funding amount, uh, and those who apply this year can start their projects as early as the 1st of January next year. So there's more flexi flexibility in terms of residency time frame and funding amount, and also people that can apply for residencies in Australia or any of the locations we don't offer uh, through our overseas studio program. So aside from the self-organised residencies, Visual Arts Board funds other projects where professional development is the focus through this general category. Some examples are on the board, um, arts writing projects, curatorial projects, mentorships, participation in conferences or workshops, and other research projects. Artists also often apply to this category for costs of putting on an exhibition and an accompanying catalogue. Uh, so Skills and Arts Development Rounds, the 10 studio rounds and the general category, all close in August this year and will be assessed at an October meeting. So okay, that's, we've, all, we've only been talking about grants for individuals now, so I'll, I'll pass over to Lucy to talk about Literature Board support for organisations. Thank you. Literature Board's publishing grants um, support the publication of literary work by Australian writers in Australia and overseas. Um, applications are accepted from Australian book publishers registered with the Literature Board, Australian literary magazines and overseas book and magazine publishers. Uh, Australian book publishers apply to the 30 March closing date. Literary magazines publishers apply to the 4th of October closing date and overseas book and magazine publishers can apply to either of these closing dates. Uh, with regards to Australian book publishers, uh, the board supports around 22 small to medium sized publishers around the country to publish new titles. Um, some of the publishers we support uh, include Allen & Unwin, Text Publishing, Scribe, UQP, Fremantle Press and Giramondo and we fund around 80 t uh, new titles through these publishers. Uh, we also support overseas publishers to translate and publish work and have supported work into um, many, many languages, including Armenian, Croatian, Dutch, Slovenian, French, Italian and German. Uh, the board supports around 16 developing and established literary magazines and views these publications as um, a very important part of Australia's uh, literary infrastructure. And these include Harvest, Mascara, Cordite, Island Magazine, Overland, Wet Ink and Southerly. I'm now going to hand back to Willow um, to talk about a new initiative um, offered by the Australian Council. 